Hello, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today, we are talking about what some folks are experiencing during the holidays between the ages of 40 and 60. We have those who are male going through andropause, also known as irritable male syndrome. And we have women, average age, that many go through menopause, is between 45 and 55. Average age is 51 years old. And it's the holidays, people. Lord Jesus. And so when there are these medical issues going on, mind you, untreated, unresolved, unfavorable, you're going to get a side to someone that you never expected. We used to be loving. We used to get along. But ever since... And then you try to pinpoint when they changed. Meanwhile, folks don't think about health. They don't think about health. We're going to start with the men and then we're going to talk about the women. One of the things that I came across years ago dating older men was the way they ate. They continue to eat like younger men. The fried foods, the sodas, the candies, all of the things that a man who is older should not be binging on. So, you know, when a person has a lot of sugar and they're not eating healthy, they have their share of crashes. They're sleeping more, they're tired, they're grumpy, they have no energy. But you know, you can't talk to a person who thinks that they know far more than you at 20 some years old. What do you know? You don't know too much of anything. And anyway, (laughs) you're a byproduct of my andropause. Uh Uh-oh. You see, back then, I did an audio on associated content. That site is no longer there. That's where I first got started with my audios, was on associated content. And then Yahoo bought them, and then eventually um, that all came to an end. But I will tell you that back then I had this audio, the byproducts of andropause, something along those lines. And I was describing the younger woman in a relationship with an older man being the byproduct. You weren't the pick. The one who was the pick had long left the relationship or the divorce took place. But you came into a situation as a younger woman and became the byproduct. You became that one that the man who has his share of issues is just looking for the meantime experience. Some men, if they're honest, they know what I'm talking about. No, you're not the one I want to share the rest of my life with. You're not the one that I want to even have babies with because I already did that. You're just the meantime experience. You know, you um, have some ways about you where I wouldn't mind living vicariously through you. But (laughs) I got my own share of issues and I'm not about to get married again. Okay, so if you can just be that companion that doesn't give me grief. Okay, (laughs) this byproduct, this woman who shows up, she doesn't know if she hasn't studied um, 
about andropause and irritable male syndrome. So she ends up catching a lot of what all those other women dealt with. Okay. What are some of the symptoms of this irritable male syndrome? And sometimes I've come across the angry male syndrome, right? Also known as andropause. One of the leading symptoms is irritability. You talk to them and they seem irritated about every little thing that you say. There's also depression in some of these men and they have lower self-confidence. There's this difficulty in concentrating. The eyes are here, there, and everywhere. They're not focused on what you're saying. Give them a pop quiz and they'll fail miserably because they were not focused. There's the trouble sleeping and of course, reduce energy. And how does this all affect one's intimate relationship? Well, of course, there's the lower sex drive and the erectile dysfunction, okay? These are the types of things that that middle-aged minister who's going through his share of issues is not gonna preach on because well, it's embarrassing and he doesn't want you to know his personal business, okay? These things are not what our fathers and grandfathers are going to prep us for because once again, they don't want us to know and most men don't talk about their personal issues anyway, okay? That's what us ladies do. We talk about Oh, he's different and I don't know what's up with him. And he used to be nice and loving and into me, but I don't know what happened. Okay. But a man's not typically going to sit down with other men and talk about, man, you know, I've been tripping lately on my woman and I can't even understand what's going on. And you know, when we are doing some things intimately, things just ain't working right. Okay. But here on this channel, we get down to the nitty gritty and we talk about the things that we don't feel comfortable talking to other people about. Another issue that happens with men who are going through this irritable male syndrome, aka andropause, is that they have trouble losing weight. So he keeps doing the types of things to try to lose the weight, but certain areas, well, it's just not working. The older man is also going through moodiness, change in libido, okay? And as time goes on, his physical health worsens. I do recall one aunt, as well as my grandmother, talk about how they gone through change of life <laughs> and that they ain't got much life in them. And when we were younger, we were like, what are you talking about? Right. And then once we got older, they revealed more. They talked about how these sorts of things happen. They didn't explain them in an articulate way, but we knew that, oh, his getting angry, got an attitude, can't seem to do things like he used to. That's what that andropause, irritable male syndrome is all about. They said grumpy old men, okay? Angry black men. Those were the sorts of things that I heard. Now, one of the things that women can do when a man is going through like this, and I know that it's going to just uh, upset some feminists, but don't be the nag about him going to the doctors, going to the doctors. Don't be the one that's having the screaming match. If you can help yourself, have your own life and don't be so focused on him. If he's not willing to get the necessary help to deal with all of these issues we talked about, you don't have to put up with it. Okay. Even God himself will allow separation. He will allow you to move on, okay? He's not going to leave you in a situation where you're being verbally and physically abused. But there are those women who will allow themselves to go through because they claim that, well, he'll get better. He'll be all right. 
if he continues in the way that he's going, his physical health and his mood only gets worse over time. And to validate some of these things that I'm talking about, I did my share of research and went on healthline.com, which is a great website that can give you more information on irritable male syndrome. What's causing the condition, ladies, as well as gentlemen, is the decrease in testosterone. That's why you're hearing all of the advertisements on various uh, sports channels and even seeing some late night commercials and so forth. It's testosterone. Those of you all who forgot about what that means, it's a naturally occurring hormone that's key to male re reproductive development. Okay, it also factors in other male characteristics such as muscle mass and body hair. You know, the skin softens and the muscles aren't as tight as they used to be. Body hair doesn't grow like it once did. Levels of testosterone tend to decline gradually. Listen to this in men starting in their 30s. So for those Younger men who like to talk about the older men and how they're angry and irritable and grumpy. Well, you're experiencing your share of issues starting at 30 plus. Okay. Not taking care of your physical fitness. Um, you know, not eating healthy, all of that. And you're declining rapidly. Okay. Testosterone is associated with confidence, fitness, energy, and sex drive, all characteristics that may contribute to healthy relationships. So lower testosterone levels can affect some of the key areas that may influence how you relate to your partner. So for those ladies who I just don't understand, now you've got some understanding. That's what God does, right? It's not just about the Bible. It's not just about what the minister says. Who doesn't want to tell the truth about what's going on with him? Okay. And sometimes you pick up on this sort of thing. When you visit some of these churches, the man goes from being very loving and kind and so forth in the beginning of his message. And by the end of the message, he's freaking out. He's going off, you know, and he's insulting people from the pulpit. Not good. When he knows he's going through a lot, he needs to sit down. He needs to take a break. Okay, go and make that doctor's appointment. Moving on. We've got to uh, address these issues that's happening. Now, holiday seasons are going to bring about even more mood swings, right? There's going to be more anger that shows up. I'm already going through my physical issues and now here you come wanting to spend up my money. Okay. Here you come talking about you're not cooking or you are going over to so-and-so's house and he's sitting there. He mad. Okay. This is the sort of thing that takes place and there are going to be those that are going to have to pray much distance oneself from the irritable male take care of you, may have to separate, may even have to divorce by January because it's just simply too much. You're not going to put your hands on me, not going to jump up in my face. You're not going to use me as a verbal and or physical punching bag. You see, this is the sort of thing that once again, some women have had enough. Even some mothers and sisters have had enough. It's not just the partner, but this sort of thing starts to spread into other areas like the workplace, for instance. Oh, the supervisor, the manager, the leaders, the investor, the owner, they were so just respectful and kind the last visit, but this go round, what is wrong with them? I mean, this is crazy. He didn't get any last night. Well, it was a little bit more complicated than that. All right, moving on to menopause. Us women, we know between the ages of 45 and 55, we looked at our mothers and we looked at our grandmothers and our aunts and we said, 
Why they tripping? Okay. Some folks got knocked upside the head. I saw this firsthand. Other folks ended up being cussed out. People got slapped. I heard through the grapevine at the stores. Yes. There were some women that were tripping. They ended up having hysterectomies back in those days quite frequently. And then, of course, menopause showed up and showed out. So there's about 34 plus symptoms that happen with women going through menopause. Okay. Some worse than others. There's irregular periods, vaginal dryness, mood changes, hot flashes. The ovaries and uterus are going out of whack. Okay. There's more than 3 million cases of this sort of thing that take place in the U.S. alone. Rarely requires a lab test or imaging and can often be self-treated. Okay. Now, just so you know, I believe in getting information about medical conditions and so forth from reputable resources. And uh, this data was provi provided from Focus Medica and reviewed by a panel of doctors. Now, symptoms also include heavy bleeding. That might occur for a day or two. There's excessive sweating during the night, hot flashes, as I mentioned. Um, there's also fatigue. There's itching and pain for some of these women during sexual intercourse. Frequent urinary tract infections and weight gain also occurs with women as well due to uneven fat distribution. Now, sometimes when some of these things just get out of whack, there are those antidepressants that are, are prescribed. Uh, there is also uh, self-care that is recommended, just like with the men going through uh, andropause. There has to be a healthy diet, right? And with holiday seasons coming along, Folks don't want to eat healthy, but when you know you're going through like you're going through, a healthy diet is a must. Exercise can also relieve some symptoms. You'll also need more calcium and protein-rich diets, okay? For the women, now for the men, there's just too much fried foods and too much meat going on. A lot of carbs and so forth. That's not recommended. You need to swing into the fruits and the vegetables. Okay. More of that. And then of course therapies. Uh, there is hormone therapy. Now what's causing the menopause? There's this natural decrease in the production of estrogen and progesterone. Which are the reproductive hormones and regulate menstrual cycles. Um, as I mentioned a lot of women back in the day had complete hysterectomies. Um, and so, of course, that brought on menopause. Uh, menopause can also be caused due to chemotherapy or radiation therapy in cancer patients. And premature menopause or primary ovarian insufficiency in which ovaries fail to produce normal levels of reproductive hormones. So, you know, this is what... A lot of folks are going through and I think sometimes, especially at the workplaces, they forget about this sort of thing. And some folks have even lost their jobs because of the unchecked issues that they're going through with irritable male syndrome. Once again, AKA andropause and menopause. All right. So how does this affect holidays more specifically? Uh, you know, with family members, well, there's going to be the arguments and it's going to seem like, why are we arguing? This is unnecessary. Well, yeah, most likely it probably is when this person is going through as much as they're going through. There's going to be those who were once generous, but not so much because they're simply moody and they don't want to be bothered. 
They used to celebrate the holidays, used to spend the money, and now, no, I'm not interested in doing too much of anything concerning the holidays. I don't want to be bothered with people. I don't want to deal with this one and that one, okay? And we respect that. Once again, you can always move that holiday experience somewhere else and let him be, let her be. Um, You can always send folks back to their parents. Here, here's a plane ticket. Go visit your daddy. Go visit your mama. Okay. (laughs) Um, During the holiday seasons, you can also have more fruits and more vegetables as opposed to a huge spread of meats. Okay. Reduce it to maybe one or two meats. Uh, then of course, there are those individuals that you just might have to talk privately and of course, let them know not to talk to the one who's going through about, uh, you know, their issues, but simply tell them that they're not feeling well lately. There's been a lot going on and, um, you know, if you can just pipe down on the joking and the, you know, things that you typically say, they're sensitive lately. And, um, you know, that might even alleviate uh, some of the issues that might arise. And then, of course, most of all, being that this is a faith based channel, I would be consulting with the Heavenly Father, the God of all gods, telling him about what is going on concerning the situation or situations with that one who's going through andropause and menopause, praying even when they're going through praying in my prayer language, right? Some of you all got your prayer language. You're going to need to use it. If you haven't lately, you might want to even support them. If they have uh, set up a doctor's appointment, volunteer, go with them. Okay. Um, If they're having trouble purchasing various foods and so forth, all these healthy foods are too expensive. Hey, that would be a nice present for them. You know, take them grocery shopping. But there are ways, um, you know, to deal with these things without being that one that's knocking people upside the head, calling the police, freaking out on some people. Um, If it is violence that is involved, because once again, we do have those who are very angry, um, you're going to have to remove yourself from the household. You can contact um, the National Domestic uh, Violence Hotline. And, um, you know, look, of course, look that information up on a computer that is not shared by others. And what they'll do is they'll provide you with an exit plan. Okay. Um, you do not need to put up with any of this, whether you're male or female. Um, you do not have to be a byproduct of some older man's fantasy. Okay. Um, I'm sure that for some folks, you were even warned a long time ago. And you said, oh, I could deal with it and all that. If that older woman couldn't deal with it, um, chances are the younger woman is not going to be able to deal with it either. Not for long. If you are the male who you know this is you, um, dating is not a solution. Rather, you need to be in touch with yourself and getting the necessary um, help that you need. Um, It is not fun to be that one that's in an intimate moment and then your needs are not being met because somebody doesn't want to take care of their bodily uh, issues okay so yeah that's going to bring about arguments that's going to bring about uh, stress people are going to feel like oh you don't love me or like me anymore that's not the issue you know if you're being up front um, you know Just maybe somebody won't go off and and find somebody else. Um, But uh, these are real issues and these are affecting our Christian brothers as well as sisters, as well as those who are out there in the world. Okay. Um, And when not addressed, there's going to be problems. Uh, so I thank you as always for taking time out of your busy schedule to listen. You've been listening to YouTube in enterprise seven, feel free to like subscribe, comment, and please do check the description box for anything that might be, uh, concerning you right now, uh, related to your family. We are also welcoming, uh, giving and, um, once again, thank, I thank those of you all who have been very supportive. God bless And may the love of the Lord rain upon you.